Hello everyone, and welcome back to Guild Wars 1. And this boy Kale that is Ascalon, well, post Ascalon. Also, take note that Bounty Egan is now the Guild Register, instead of just an NPC that gave press. On this episode, we are going to go do a few things. Like we're going to gather a party in Ascalon. And then go out. Because here's the thing. But, which bothers me. We have to use henchmen. I just like henchmen. By all definition, we shouldn't need too many henchmen. Like, I want to just go with these two, but I know I'm not going to survive. Effectively with those, just those two. So, well, we're going to take a full party. I really wish I had heroes, but we don't have heroes. Once I have heroes, oh god, the amount of stuff I need to invest in. Yeah, but anyway. Like, yeah, only one quest to do. Don't worry, we'll be finding more quests. Eventually. I just need to think on where that at. Or still some time to sit in quests. Cause... Guild War prophecies are designed around the whole. Well, you're this class, so you talk to this class, right? To do these quests. To get these skills, because, you know, we gotta get rewards of play with skills for completing these quests. Instead of, you know, gold, which would have been more useful. Oh no. The thing, prophecies is good for new characters. Well, in other words, new characters don't get nearly enough rewards, also. I'm Prince Rook. I thank you for your kind words. Yeah, I was nervous about this meeting. Our initial reception here in Ascalon City has been less than warm. So I've heard I apologize for my father. He means well and does well. He thinks it's best for his country. Sometimes I still remember the last guy worked in way. The days of war between two nations are over. We are here in the name of Christ to give aid to Ascalon. We ask for nothing in return. I wish only to be of service. We look forward to allow our pride to stand the way such generous offer. I see whether people of Ascalon sell my work. As your turn, you will be a good king. A good king indeed. Thank you, Master. Now I must take my leave. I will talk to the king. Perhaps I can change his mind and gain you access to the city. Okay, bye. And off he goes. Message from the River Worth of Warriors. Yeah, let's see. Honor Pastor, etc. etc. You request permission to change the city and trust the people of Ascalon that we tonight. This being the fourth session, I was magically bid you reconsider this ill conceived journey and continue that play a return to Gratia. King Adroy have learned very different lessons from the wars of the past. Isolation is not the answer. Only peace and mutual friendship shall we find our salvation. I shall hope that in time you realize the truth of this. Oh, so yeah, he gave us a war hammer. I have no use for that. I'm seeing ones preserve you. I am Bastard Saint, and I have the honor of representing the White Matter. I hope that we can be friends. Yeah, I'm sure us and the White Matter are totally gonna be friends. We have questions. You don't look like an Ascalon. Don't be Ascalonian. I should think not. My companions are across the mountains to come here. We are from Greater to the West. Truly enough, guys, it's not so long since Ascalon and Greater about war, is it? How are things in Greater? There's peace and creator. No, no, there's not. There's undead and other horrors in creator. What more needs you heal? The words of men may fail. Place your faith in the guidance of the unseen ones. Life is good for those sheltered by the white man. So now we are way out toward Mascalon? Orbit and creator and Mascalon as well. Both kingdoms have been transformed. Old creatures have no place in this new world. Time for there to be friendship between us once more. Okay. Why are you here? 
Put the door in here, the white man tries. We've seen dire times for Antoine. Prepared by the Ephesians, he sent me to offer King after our help. White mantle? Five minutes with unseen ones who saved Christ from the uh, Chor invasion. We have brought peace and stability to the lands of the West. Fields are no longer burned by battle, nor ships that fly or poor spring trade, not war. Okay. Well, what can I do to help? I do not understand, I do not understand the hostility that my press adjourns from the king. Do you want to help the people as well? You could help me in the uh, cause. I have shipment of supplies I was going to deliver to an escort. Well, man called Ellie Rigby. She was an orphanage for those who have been lost a pound in these evil times. King Edward, how would I allow me in the stage to deliver these supplies? Will you perhaps help the children? You can get file touch, which should not be associated with a crest and file from children. Arena net? It shouldn't. By the way. Alas, despite the current peace between Crichton and last one, King Edward still chooses to feel all Crichton's with distress. He expressed the old lodge too much to do anything untoward, but I must take care not to give him an excuse to expel me from the kingdom. Then lies my trouble. I would just say my men have been forced to travel south to reach a to resupply, and have been such minds repeatedly by abandoning Torrent. We don't have to ourselves by shedding the, shedding the blood of an Ascalon. Should be Ascalonian. Even a criminal like Torrin might be a mistake. Return to the Spanish threat. Okay. I'm seeing one for that Jesus. I haven't had as much, seen much tragedy. In this place, I feel the spirits of the dead filled with confusion and, and anger. I can consecrate the grounds that the dead may only have some peace, but I need very spare times in the cell moment. I believe there was a craftsman here in Old Ascalon called Orison David. David? Which capable of fashioning exactly what I need. Will you take the sister of and bring back the supplies he gives you? Okay. And then now here is the elementalist for some reason. I don't know, maybe she's from Crichton. Maybe she's here as a representative. I don't know. Anyway, so you could get better Crichton gloves now with Cinch Garkar skulls. The only problem, though, is Corrin negates that. Because he made, guess he made us much better stuff than what the game can even offer me at this point. Outside of that. But at the moment, we should be worried about the level 15. Not so. They're gonna take damage because we are squishy. We're gonna take less damage. So, now we're gonna back in. Well, we could do the rest of this thing. I mean, all we have to do is go help over towards where I put it. Yeah, I get used to it. the real first now on the hill. Bah, I think I'm destroyed by giant crystalline media things. And gargoyles are here at state scale. Pretty much all of the scale are gone, and now it's just Garkars, Devourers, Stone Elementals, Char, and we get the Char. Stefan's attacks. Almost nothing here really needs warrants a whole spider spirit.
Absorption into the power side. Oh. It's highly expensive, but I forgot how good it actually is. Yeah, it's basically, oh, you're hitting me. Well, I'm just gonna heal from every attack you do. You're gonna protect me, you see? I'm so unpleasant, he doesn't want me in land Ha ha. So, what else needs them? Let me see now. that. Let's see. Thanks for witness, rest of us. Like, what's that? You look I've got all this here. So, my natural, unusual request, indeed. There you go. That's everything on this list. For you, I wanted to see if I can make anything you need. In town, too, we have crafters and weapons, but artists and myself are not so easy to come by. So, by the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could buy those for cheaper. I could buy those for a lot cheaper. At just the rail crafting material vendor. <laughs> like, I don't understand the purpose of... Those. I never did, really. It's like you could basically craft the rail crafting materials. Or you could just buy the rail crafting materials. For cheaper, usually. Than what they'll offer now. Oh, so while we're here, we might as well pop in hell. Real quick. Welcome to what's basically the Sardalac Sanitarium. What used to be Ashford Abbey? Now a sanitarium. And over here is Necromancer Mune. The entrance to the catacombs is sort of blocked off. So we should bring yourself to Necromancer. Now test you. A group of girls raised the sanitarium several days be past. We drove them off, but not before they carried off the fireboard. But a holy rogue that man the light retreat from the catacombs. Go last last thing just north of I shall accompany you on this mission to value your performance. When you're ready. It's like I already have those skills. Well, I don't have any serious pet. Well, I do have any serious parasite right now. But out of all those other skills, I do have those. You're right, we would meet me just outside the center. Okay. Oh, so that's our deal. Also, if this was up, we could, you know, we could make use of this. But. Eight more achievements must be performed to earn the favor of the gods. You have to take me back. I want to go back. Don't take me back. I'm staying right here. Kasha! Our task that seems well placed to your skills. One who was once a respected member of order has turned against Ascon. Oberon, the Reviver, seeks to live up to his name by carrying and carving out his own kingdom of the dead hill in the ruins of Ascalon. Oberon's cunning, but has an uncomfortable temper. If we go into action, I'll let you head east of here and find his minions to save them. I think set should be a sufficient number. Oh, yeah, so Oberon's like pissed off because he decided to make his own undead kingdom. But. But Oberon doesn't care for minions really that much. Oberon prefers his curses. They're contradictory. But oh well, it's been two years. Maybe took up minions. Who knows? Hi. Yes, I see you. <laughs> now then, let's go retrieve our lost relic. Follow me. Do 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 do. Go. Follow me, young necromancer. 
So we have basically the Ark of the Covenant. Because, you know, why not? We just carry this holy relic back. Here before I know, bring the relic to me and I'll make sure it gets back to the upper place in the sanitarium. They turn this route the inmates of the sanitarium which they appeared to this night, and it's all thanks to you. He shows a route out for the high art of necromancy. Do I have to be concerned that necromancers are running a sanitarium? Oh well. Alright, now let's go murder some undead minions. Oh, so go home. things go. You guys barbs on something, sit back and watch it melt. Cause your know, physical attackers are going to just rush in stab at you before they die. Before you can really do much else. Mark Payne though is good for a win. When there's a whole group of them. So that way you could just Yeah. You can try to fight for spirit on one, cause more for pain on the one that you're up attacking. For the most part, you don't really need to fight for spirit against pretty much most of these things. Because they're not really worth your time. I thought Oliver was going to show up, unless I asked to. Unless I murdered him, I didn't realize I murdered him. Which is possible. Hi. Wait, now she has a staff. First of all, she had a hammer for a bit, too. She does have more quests for us. Alright, and you care what was meant, she say? I want you to be truly right. Trashins is there, so to try my old hiding. Oop. Barely have more of a equipped. But Dark Pat. It deals 10 shadow damage to Dark Bubble. But you have to sacrifice 10% of your HP. So it's eh. Eh. And so, so what? My twice informed me that Oberon's headed here even now to seek his revenge on the ones who slew his minions. Of course, I don't have to tell you that. It's the both for best interest for you to stay Oberon. He comes with you up the road from the east even now. Are you ready to face him? I mean, sure, why not? Yeah, it's him, good. Horse was the guy who retrieved those eggs for. Duke, I believe. And now he's gonna bid off his rock or since then. Oh. What to do about Oberon? <laughs> Physical. 
was gonna be a big concern, but then I realized that one's just an average enemy. Which is pretty great. I mean... Yeah, because it's weird. Uh, warrior used to be like my main class. Now it's a toss up between warrior and necromancer. Because sword warrior in this is. eh, not that great. Oh, only being a threat against one third to one fourth of enemies. Not that great. I was scared to be slipping. Still, you didn't manage to see him. So I suppose you deserve some sort of reward. Huge explosion. Yay. But yeah. Because I used to really like warrior because, you know, running out there, having high amounts of health, stabbing things. But now, warrior's yeah, it's not that great, to be honest. I mean, converting my main over to like something more effective, like axes or hammer, be tedious, especially when you have an entire storage tab practically for weapons specifically for bound to that character. They're all swords and shields. So, the why I mostly did was I decided for most of my warriors, I'm just going to use it. Urzen. Urzen. Because Urzen basically, at one point, was one of the most overpowered skills in the game. Because basically, it's a berry that just is an elite skill from the Eye of the North expansion. Basically, it lets you assume the aspect of the veil. It doesn't monitor change you, sadly, like it does with a Norn. But it basically lets you assume the form of the veil, and then you get bell related skills. Which also increases your health by like 800. And it used to be basically you'd constantly be running low on energy, so if you had things like Azarius stuff and other stuff to keep your energy up, you could basically manipulate that for probably an entire map if you were lucky enough to get from mob to mob. Which was always fun. The problem though is it ran into the issues where it they had to nerf it because it was way too overused. It was too good. But when they nerfed it, it's still mostly effective. I mean, it lasts for like what? 60 seconds? Which is long enough for you to wreck most things, most groups. Before you even need to reapply it. But yeah, it's useful for my warrior because that way I don't have to deal with the whole several artery and gags that, well, I have to use farmer slash, but still. I don't have to worry about those skills not being effective because I can just be effective regardless. So it's a win's broken to loot. Yeah, I could take that, but I don't want to. I'm just gonna drift out. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna drift out this way. Cause Ranger Trainer. There's a keep pain filter and start using a certain scanner. Certain scanner is useful. 
It lets you basically attack enemies even if you're blind. You can't hit those. And also gives you remote 5% of your death penalty. Not the parties, but your death penalty. Which is also useful. Well, we found someone to use the gun this way. Alessa, why are you? Where's the hack wrong? So I'm losing this fight. I don't know. Henchman. Henchman. By the time I cast it, he's gonna be dead. Mostly, it was just, yeah. The fact that this was either you use blood magic to life steal and keep your health up to n plus 10 regen at all times, practically. Was mostly just you summon minutes. Then the minutes do all the work. Which I admit is boring as shit. You know. Uh, for the player counter. Because all you do is basically you go summon your master on minutes, use the ability to keep them alive, use the ability to keep them alive. Use the barrier to keep them alive. It's like being a... Uh... Another chore. It's probably part of a quest and more murder than that. Which could cause problems. But we're... was just boring because it's like being a hero but yet not as exciting because you're not really managing the party you're just managing a group of minions where you have to press one button to make sure they're alive or watching your own channel. I mean it's good for the hero because the hero can do whatever I don't know what to do. Curses let you basically direct how the flow of battery. Like that enemy's path and magic. So you can counter him with spike for spin. And oh that guy's gonna be attacked by a physical. So you can't farm. They do more damage. 
or if that guy's new a bunch of guys to cast Mark of Pain. So that way, while they're taking physical damage, it deals shadow damage to adjacent foes. The problem though is you need foes to be adjacent, otherwise it's not very really effective. Since Parasite though is another good one because whenever a target's attacking, you can just put that on it and you heal up to 33 health each turn. And by steal, it means... It means it's gonna be draining for too. You're doing damage too. That's decent. Oh, very it's more than a bad Gaze was difficult. However, I don't have any real damage skills. Yeah. Everything's mostly just feedback and. Making sure other things do damage to things. Like so Barb's feedback. From when we cast Bell. Why we can cast So Barb's Bar by Barbs. Barb by faint heart. Hey, this one's attacking me, so. Right next to me, so we cast more pen. Not sure if he's adjacent, though. Cast the last parasite. We turn back and cast my Singe guard or scholars. That's a collapse gun. Because, you know, even though it's going to be like 2022 before I can very turn the man, still should collapse them. Just because. Scotch seeds, I'm not sure. So I went the entirely long way. I sure went this way to reach my destination because there are destinations up here. Yeah, I sure went this way. Said I went the entirely long way for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Bad stupid. Oh, so I'll boop it again. Boop. Just in case. I know there's a hermit over here who's an outmantleless trainer. Because now we need another outmantleless trainer. That one, 
Curses feel more like you're directing the battle than actually fighting. Like you basically decide that that enemy is going to suffer from this. Eventually, we will have damage skill though. But it's gonna be a while still. Oh, rest into each line. dangerous since pre -athlon. Now, for example... So... Watch by the way to fail this place. To the statue of Africa. Sage, why is the he hero henchman stuck back now? Three. I'm trying to break the spirit again, so I don't And hope 
we now work more on the four gold. Sad. Jitter hmm. fragments. So what do you want? Yeah, I don't care. I'm Master Ranger Nante. So, well, that crash I kept mentioning a few times. For the silly man, Midlander stalkers roam the land. Now that these great cats are near owing extinction, if we are to know the true sense which the population is for decimated, must give an accurate count of them. If you could find a tame one of these beasts using the charm of skill, if you already have one as a friend, bring to me, they may update my current tally. It's basically, this is why you keep a. Uh, Melander Stalker. So you could just do this. Continue with Melander Stalker's the dome we feed. Well done, my friend. Well done. It's good to see that there were some who strive to preserve the natural balance. Uh, so. And he gives us skills, but not going to use. Or I think he gave us like charm animal for that skill, which doesn't make sense. For that quest, because you already have charm animal. It's the how you can even do the quest. <laughs> anyway, several days ago, Charm Patrol broke through the breach created by Duke Baldwin's vanguard. They've been stalking against the people who are behind the wall. Their depredations must not be allowed to continue. Go on out to hunt these fiends. Be on our to accompany me. Didn't I already murder them? Probably. For those stalkers we already murdered, but oh well. We'll go deal with we'll go follow him. And I'm sort of just waiting for the whole favor to cut to add up. So the god will pop back up and I can go deal with that. There's a quest. Also, yeah, this quest is. <sighs> it's an escort quest, technically. Well, a fall quest, but more of an escort quest. But you have to defend the level 5 NPC. Well, no, is we don't have any healers that can actually focus on an NPC. Like the henchman is gonna focus on party. That's so the NPC. So that means I have to have to pay attention. Cause the henchman ain't gonna really pay attention. So yeah. Do 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 do. The tracks lead off in this direction. I don't see any tracks. Like I see my own footprints. Why not these tracks I mentioned? Do 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 do. up in this direction. So yeah, stalkers are now. Uh, striders are now. Mobile phones. Because I don't know why they're called striders in pre ascalon And they're clearly mobile birds. Oh, 
for F sex, are you seriously? Stephanie Doctor. After the NPCs are too stupid to realize that you should save your resurrection segment for the, when the hero goes down, so they'll just use their own resurrection segment when anyone goes down. The track speed up in this track. Gotta clear this area. Get it on. One would think I did, but apparently I didn't. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to where we already killed those star. Which was like what? Around this bridge or something? Somewhere around here? Pretty sure that's where we're headed. And then he's gonna be like, oh, well, they're already dead. Let me just update my quest log. Yeah, look. They're trashed off in this stretch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're headed right over hill. See, look. The quest says it's complete. Return to Ranger Ma Master Ranger Nante. Fine, okay. This particular group of troll were threatened. That's no more, however, I feel that more than might be heading this way. The scoop has the look of scouts. We need to go to the base camp where they're staging these scouts and destroy it. Dang. I don't need those, but thanks anyway. At the time of the parts of the troll, we soon discovered something interesting. They are a powerful weapon led by Gorgon Hate Mom. So the hate warband, a particular nasty charwolf, whom I've had a few run-ins. Gorgon can usually be found near a bridge that spans the chance on a black sludge in the bridge. If you were able to find him and destroy him, if there were any plans his warband had for an attack at this rate, can I count on you? Okay. The char staging area. Head to the bridge and kill Gorgon hate Well, seven more achievements must be performed. I think it's four. I can't remember if it's just breaker achievements or if it's like finishing off a uh, title achievements. Yeah, like 550 rail items are basically gold items, not, you know, any of these light blues we keep identifying. Some of the achievements are just tedious, like... For example, Trader Boy. You can open so many items. Which requires so many lock Which requires a lot of gold. Lock it by 2.5k. For lock. So you basically need... 250 times 2.5k. Just for that title. That level of title. The card goes up to at least 10, so that would probably be like, what? 7,000 lot chest? Which requires several thousand lock bits? Which requires quite a lot of gold? Yeah, it's a problem this game has with the fact that. Here's all the oh, so here's where you can find Landish Stalkers around here. But yeah, it's a problem this game has that it's basically like, oh yeah, well you need 
for these achievements, you need to do a lot of shit that's gonna take you a while. Like, in a way, it's almost easier to do some of World of Warcraft's tedious achievements over these. Like, most of these things just require you to have loads and loads and loads and loads of money. Like, you can get the alcohol achievement easily if you have enough money to buy stacks upon stacks upon stacks of alcohol. And then you have to have the time to go through the whole drinking all that alcohol. By the way, we're heading to the bridge. We're going to go ahead down. We took power in and the rest of the thing got broke through the tour lines to Pike and Scrow. They are not able to take much in the way of surprise. Black Holmes have been heading after Pike and Scrow with regular regularity. I have just received one from Quad Master. Uh, the Pike and Scrow is at least a day or two. Do much with others. How the surprise if he's going to hold out against the charm. If you head that way, you can just go what has happened to the supply column. Okay. Might as well do this. Then I may end the video. Oh, so. So now we have Chard or Dilworth. These Chard are actually a bit easier than the ones in Pre-Ascalon. That was level 5. Instead of level 6 or 8. Time to wreck a charm. So first things first, we'll cast Silver. Still alive. That one deal for him. Some heroes were entirely too tedious to kill, which is an unfortunate reality. Hi. Well, I'm gonna cast this. Hmm, that works. Okay, so we could go back and turn the end, but supply.
trying to have this whole thing about lying effigies on fire. So other thing. I have an affinity for fire. Also, there's an Ascalonian Hunter Hill. Hi, Ascalonian Hunter. Which is a dangerous place, my friends. No shit. Duke Bergen has asked me to watch the people brave enough to see across the wall. Follow me, I'll show you the safest way to Pike and Square. He's gonna show us the safest way to Pike and Square. And so we're gonna follow him through the tar, which is unfortunate. Also, you know what? I completely forgot we have a uh, stamina zone that summons an amp. I'm gonna keep forgetting that, by the way. Like, I could use the Leech Now one, but I sort of need my skill points. The game doesn't throw skill points at me as much as, like, factions of Nightfall or Eye of the does. So I sort of need to save my skill points. I've been patrolling there regularly, but so far the quest was alone if I can. So of course he conveniently runs her through right when I'm moving, so he has to go aggro them. Charblade for you. This might be awkward, that Char Stalker is right there. Oh, he moved, he started moving as we approach, good. So anyway, that right there is just gonna lead back to... Well, we should probably go to these fire cars first. Then we can worry about the supplies. Fly call. My friends, I'm actually part of the two. Perhaps you'll meet again soon. Probably not. Probably not. So what do we have over here? Some char stalkers. <laughs> things like that, it means the whole party is going to focus on the target. Well, at least they're going to try to. It's useful if you want to start targeting. Yeah. You can see how they react and run from fire. Because, you know, Gorian doesn't have meter shower. Nor do we have nearly enough to body block people from getting hit by that. Tactics and all that. So 
far. I've got all the bombs. My heart is just for good measure. Char hide. Swoosh that back over here. Higher supply powers. Hi. You gonna follow me now? Yay. Now we ask them to Pike and Squirrel. Thankfully we cleared most of the way there. Still seven more changements. Uh, it's a bit slow because you know not not players commit doing achievements anymore. Oh, I was gonna say is that group gonna cause me trouble? Nope, they're just going by. Of course, I should probably wait for our supply column because they're slower. Do 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 do. do. showed up. Oh, so remember this. Do not enter Pike and Square until the supply column reaches their destination. There you go. May it last, we can take it from here, my friend. Speak with recording master Arden. Hey, Pike and Square, I'm sure he'll first want to thank you for your help. Yeah, make sure to do that. Because I've screwed up before and went in first. Which guys is the question? Did that chest just move? Oh god, it's a mimic. By the way, there are no mimics in this game. But still. Go the way of that the missing supply column here. I'm in and I owe you a great debt. Good luck to see you, my friend. May whichever god you see pray to watch over you. We can armor, by the way. It's a thing. And target phone and chase first to you, your target that crap on for 14 seconds. It's eh, whatever. It's a very whatever spell. Cloud shot. Alright. Look at all these quests. But we'll come back to it later. As for now, we're gonna go back to Ascalon City. And end the video. I wanted to join this quest, but can't really do that until the gods favor us. Alright. Nice, right, so helping the people of Ascalon. Captain Arn will eventually have a quest, eventually. I forget how long that takes, but yeah. Alright. Might as well go turn in this crash and then in the video. She's way over here. Way over here. People often forget about the children that were slain by the sewer. I tried to look after them, but there's only so much one woman can do. If we don't find someone to help her soon, I'm afraid of what will happen. Well, here's help right now. Thank you. Go and tell a mutual friend that these supplies people you have to get use. They trained the people like him around to help those in need. I have to draw a sign. Certain people are so suspicious of people like our friend. Well, the thing about that is, maybe they have a reason to be suspicious of people like him. Maybe that's it. Well, when we get back, we'll talk to Warmaster Titus. But that's for next time.
Hope you all enjoyed. Thank y'all and have a nice day.